Hello Helen. Welcome to We Wise Women. It's wonderful to have you on board and it would be fantastic if you would explain a little bit about the journey you've been on because I believe that it's probably very relevant to our, our other We Wise Women. Thanks Trevina. Thanks for the invite. Um, well, I just want to share with everyone here that, you know, I'm 50, looking ahead, and I'm having a great life at the moment. And the reason is, when I was 32, I was diagnosed with a chronic illness. And basically, the doctors told me I wouldn't live past 50. So this year is particularly important to me. Uh, there was a diagnosis of perhaps needing a liver transplant from an autoimmune disease. And life was pretty much looking in the big dark hole. Living with chronic illness is something a lot of women do, particularly as we start to age. And I want to give a message of hope to everyone watching this, that you don't have to live with it. There is much you can do. And uh, I've done a lot of things to change my life and emotionally, my head, my heart and my body and everything I put in, it, it, I get results with. So I just want to encourage people, you know, sound therapy has been a great part of it. Um, and my personal journey in healing, the um, uh, all the emotional work, as I'm saying, and nutritionally. Nutrition is really important to support my liver and spleen. So, you know, you don't have to live with it. There's a lot you can do. And now, these days, I'm running several companies. I have property investments. Things are great. You know, I love the company so much, I, I now own half of it. I'm a director of Sound Therapy International Worldwide. And we haven't even just begun. We've only just begun to help people where we can help people. And if there's anything we can do to help you and Trofina and We Wise Women, we want to be there for you. Oh, Helen, that's fantastic because I know so many women do struggle at midlife mm. and really don't know where to go to get the help and support. So that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there are so many facets. When you live with chronic illness, for me, I wasn't able to have children. And for a while, I used to regret that. And Mother's Day would come around, and that was a hard day. And it's still a hard day because whoever remembers the women that don't have children that's for whatever so reason. That's so true. For whatever yeah. reason. So here's my suggestion for you today. If you know someone that you know, hasn't had kids for whatever reason, just give them a hug, tell them you love them, you know? Because we're all mothers and we're inside, really. Oh, that's beautiful. That Thank you, Helen. Okay. Thank you so much. Bless you. Bye.